back here on the Argonaut Weekly. Rob Walden along with Monica Malabasi, midfielder on the women's soccer team. Just one match for women's soccer this week, a 4-1 to one victory over St. Leo this past weekend. And Monica, after two tough losses the weekend before to Rollins and Florida Southern, it had to feel good for you guys to get a big victory over an in-region opponent this week. Gosh, yeah, I did. Like, it was important to win yesterday and like, with a good score, 4 to 1. And San Leo was a great team. They played a great, a great game. They actually started winning. But I think after the two losses last week, uh, we had like a hard week. We worked hard, like the team came together. And I think we had a positive attitude against, like after the losses. And I mean, we have a talented team, like, um, Losing is part of the game, and mm -hmm. I think we we had like a good attitude. We step up, and thanks to God, like yesterday we we won. Like after a hard first half, and then we came back in the second half and scored four goals. And well, and you mentioned you know St. Leo took the lead one nil on their own grounds. You're coming off of a two loss uh, losing streak. Was the confidence shaken at all after St. Leo scored that opening goal? And then how good did it feel to finally take that lead uh, and ultimately go on to win the match? Well, we have a very talented team. Like, I think we have a great team. There's a lot of team chemistry, a great team chemistry. And I think we've been mature and uh, we've had hard moments. Last weekend was hard. We worked hard through the week. So in the halftime, like, yeah, we were upset about, like, losing, but, like, we knew we still had 45 minutes and our fitness was so much better than the other team I think like we felt good and like we just went into the into the field for the second half and just like try to win and we didn't think about like losing another game we just wanted to win it and thanks to God as I said like eh, we went and like we finished our opportunities that like we didn't finish in the first half right. and in the other games but like yeah we, we could finish and then thanks we, we scored four goals. That was important for us. You guys opened the season ranked number two in the nation, according to the NSCAA. After two straight losses, you dropped completely out of the polls, which is a little bit of a surprise. What would it mean for you guys to get another national ranking this week after your big victory over St. Leo? Well, actually, uh, last year we were ranked number sec number two, and then we were ranked number one like for a long time. Right. And we ended up like finishing second, like. All we care about, like it's finishing first. Right. As our coach always says, it's about it's not about like the destination, but about the journey. We just take it one game at a time. And losing now, it's getting us stronger. Right. And I mean, we want to finish first at the end of the season. So I know like the loss that last week, and it's gonna help us. And and you saw it this weekend. Sure. We still have a lot of work to do. I know we we have a great team. We have great freshmen, like a lot of talent in the team and we just have to get in the same page, you know. Uh, I don't care if we are not number one or number two the whole season, if we get to the national tournament, hopefully get to the final four and win it at the end. We care about being number one at the end of the year. So that's Monica Malavasi of the UWF women's soccer team. We'll see if they're nationally ranked again this week after a big 4-1 to one victory against St. Leo. Women's soccer takes on Spring Hill Wednesday, and then they're back home to face Lynn on Saturday, and of course you can follow the action right here at GoArgos.com.